Hello. Nice to meet you again. Once two friends were passing through a thick and dense forest. Since they were very tired, they have decided to take rest. So they sat under very big tree and began to lay down and within few minutes they fell asleep. Suddenly they have woken up by the sound of loud roar. When they looked around and saw about the loud noise, they had noticed a large bear walking toward them. At the moment they do not know what to do. But one of the friend knew how to climb on the tree. So he quickly began to climb on the tree and sat upon one of the big branches of the tree. His friends, his friend with a longing eye looked at him and said, please give me your hand, help me to climb. But this friend, he thought himself selfishly, he said he decided not to help him. So he said to his friend, sorry, this branch is not heavy enough. It cannot hold two people. You ran away. But the time bear charged at his friend who was standing on the ground. And when he heard about the bear, he came very close to him. He fainted and collapsed on the floor. When the bear saw that one was on the floor, fell down and slipped at him and looked up down the tree. But the bear saw another man on the tree. So the bear began to chase after the live one instead of who was on the floor. The bear slowly began to climb on the tree and was closing toward the friend who was on the tree. Since the bear was closing on him, he jumped from the tree and landed on the ground with a broken leg and bruises. He was limping and trying to get away from the bear. But the bear quickly came down from the tree and attacked and killed him. Then the bear went on her own way. After some time, the other friend woke up and saw the dead body of his friend and began to weep. Then he went back home. If both of these friends help each other or both of them stayed together, they could have distracted the bear or they could have attacked the bear. But one person selfishness, because of that he died. Do you have a real friend? Do you have a friend who will give his life for you? Or do you have a selfish friend? Do you have a friend who will stay with you in difficult situation and help you and guide you? When the problem comes, he will stand with you. Do you have that kind of true friend? Well, there is one friend who wants to help you and stand with you always. God wants to be your friend so he can help you. In fact, he died for you and he gave his life for you. And not only that, he rose again from the dead to help and stand with you always. Jesus directly looks at you and say, you are my friend and extend his hand toward you. Do you want to become God's friend? Extend your hand and grasp Jesus' hand and say, I want to become your friend. Please accept me and he will become your best friend even till end of this world. Even right now in this situation, Jesus can be your best friend. If you want to know more about how Jesus can be your best friend, please write to me, ask about more details. Thank you.